Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Nuclear Throne. We are jumping in again and today we are going to play the Doctor, who I haven't actually played in a really long time. He's sitting there down in the corner. I forget about him sometimes. We've got a lot to do with him, a lot to unlock. Um, and I know he's just a really fun character. This dude um, gets slightly better weapon mutations. Uh, not weapon mutations, sorry, just mutations in general. Um, so we're going to be trying to have a look at the mutations and see the improvements. I have heard that this character did get a pretty decent buff with the 1.3 update. Because this guy, like, the better mutations thing did used to kind of be a little stinky from time to time. Where it'd be like, here's 2% extra damage and stuff like that. So, I think now apparently there, there's a bit more of an impact. We can also hit ourselves for rads as well, which is kind of nice. And I think we do as this character get slightly less rads. So, we want to be hitting ourselves for rads on the regular to make sure we don't uh, fall behind too much. Um, yeah, so we can see here, look, we have plus one max HP, under five HP, 23% charge rate, can charge to four barriers, minus 25% mod delay, everything that deals damage under four, um, max of seven damage. Yeah, it's cool. So I, th I think we're gonna go with um, that here. I was kind of talking in the last episode just about how good inner peace can be. Uh, so I want to be working with that. I'm going to gamble here and, and stay at low HP. Just because higher chance of uh, health drops, which means more rads. See, I've got a barrier now as well. And um, hurting myself doesn't seem to consume the barrier, so... Good way to, like, level up pretty quickly here. Um, let's have a look-see. 23% recharge rate, bigger shields, 7% reload speed, 25% damage. Ooh, baby. Okay, that could be really good, actually. Um, because we're, we're kind of staying at low HP. 50% chance med kits give 5 HP. 25% energy damage. Ooh, dude. Um, 2% contact damage. Uh, plus 2 contact damage, sorry, and 25% less contact damage. That's really good. I'm going to go with sharp stress here and see how that does for us. Um... The, the fire rate bonus that I'm seeing so far is pretty nice. Let's get out of here. Just The thing is, we've got to stay at low HP. But being able to charge up four barriers makes me more, more so want to do this. We do need Bolt Marrow, though. I'm not quite sure what Bolt, bolt Marrow's bonus will end up being. Let's uh, take care of some of the regular enemies before we worry about this boss. We did just lose a barrier there, but we've got another one. Okay, we're good to kill him now. Get ourselves a lower HP for some more fire rate. The penetrator, I think, is good. Yeah, I'll take the penetrator. There you go, we level up. And there's a few more enemies left down here. The penetrator seems like it'll be really good once we get bolt marrow. If if we get bolt marrow, so. Um, right, let's have a look. See. Um, every 150th rad heal one HP, minus 30, 20% rads required. Ooh, that's kind of good. Um, 25% chance for an extra weapon chest rad canisters return. Replace only one health, uh, slightly less reload speed boost, um, plus fire range, longer stun, more icicles, toxic bullets angled towards enemies. Ooh, that toxic thing sounds amazing. I'm gonna go with Nerf Steel though, I think. I want, I basically, oh dude, no. That's a bit of a shame. Unfortunately, um... When I when I use my ability, it it, go, it it destroys my armor. I thought it would go for my health first and then armor. Unfortunately, that isn't the case. So that kind of slightly kills that idea, but it's some it's some more understandable. Cool. I don't know. I'm, I'm liking this though. Been like this this low HP uh, idea here is kind of fun. I wonder if there's a specific crown that would work really well with this. It probably is right, being at low HP. I'm intrigued to see. No, 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 no. I can escape. I can escape. I can escape. I can escape. No, there you go. I want to go inverted area, obviously. 
are getting pretty low on ammo with this thing, I'm noticing. Um, 80% instead. That's pretty good. 20% charge rate and burst amount. It's kind of good. 20% reload speed. Oh, 50% slap damage. Boy, that's going to be good. Oh, God. I'm going to have to take a lightning screwdriver here as a backup because I'm taking a lot of damage right now. Chop splinter gun. Oh my goodness, how much ammo is that? Two. Hmm. I'm gonna try the chop splinter gun, I think. It's a little higher tier. It's got the potential. I don't know, I, I, I like the idea behind it. But bolt, bolt marrow not being a thing so far is a little bit sad, I will say. I would very much like it. Get over here, you. Oh my, that was actually pretty slick of you. Dude, the 50% slap damage, I'm loving that. Is it just you we've got over here? Wait, they're not enemies, are they? No. The slap damage is so good. I love it. Light and screwdriver we've, we've figured out before is pretty good too. Dude, it's not going to give me it, is it? Um, plus 25% chance. Total 26%. Okay. Not too bad. Um, I'm going to go with Rage, you know. I don't go with Rage very often anymore. I used to take it all the time, but I think... Not losing as much rage is kind of interesting. Oh, dude, that was... Oh, the assassins got to me. How dare you. But to be fair, I was particularly annoyed by the fact that Bolt Marrow didn't show up there, so... But yeah, Sharp Stress is, is going to be a really, really good one for us here, I think. I've, there's not much point doing the doing the whole rads thing until the end of the stage or um, until I get sharp stress. I mean, to be fair, I'll do it twice just so HP starts dropping. There's not much benefit to being low HP, but I'll have a look at the um, at the crowns when I get the opportunity as well. Really? Let me go all the way over here. To be fair, there's quite a few enemies back here. Oh my goodness, that was kind of close. It's okay, this guy will die. We got him. Kraken gun. I'll take a Kraken gun, why not? Uh, I'll do two hits there. And still no bolt marrow, sadly. Uh, I st definitely want inner peace again. I think this having inner peace here is going to be really good. Splinter gun, maybe? Is splinter gun going to be better for us here? Nah, I don't think so. The piercing's just not there, is it? I think having the piercing's really important. I think I'm going to use the Kraken gun a little bit here. My inner piece just saved me from a hit there. That was really stupid of me. Ah, oh, bollocks. I've really messed myself up here. Yep. Okay, right. Quickly, just let's have a look. Is there going to be stuff that's going to be really good for us at low HP? Start each area with 1 HP, chance for enemies to spawn with 10% HP. That's not ideal, we want something to be like when we lower our HP. Take damage when opening with chests and game rads. Um, you take double damage, increase the value of radiation. Uh, ooh, what's this? What's this? While in combat, slowly reset health to four. 
That could be good. So how how slowly <laughs> is the question? How slowly? Nail machine gun. I've not really used the nail guns before, but they seem pretty good. Um, twenty-five percent corpse herming and thirty percent corpse speed. That sounds like a lot of fun. Hee <laughs> hee boy. Do they have any herming as of base, or does this just add some herming? It seems good, but the it, it seems risky too. Oh, I did not want to go through that. My bad. I wanted to finally be able to actually select Bolt Marrow and see what it does. Realistically, if I'm taking these risks, I, I need, yeah. If I'm taking these risks, I need inner peace. I don't know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty down with that though. Whenever you try uh, to use your active, take one damage and gain some ammo. I try to test how this works. Okay, it does hit us twice. We can kill ourselves. I don't know, I'm kind of down with that. Do we swear? Wait, wait, wait. As this character, do we start at level two? I've got to, I've got to see this. I'm, I'm going to go back to this one, I think. We do start at level 2. I did not know that. That's kind of nice. Get to level 3 pretty easily on the first stage. Okay. That's kind of good. Choose right away, yeah. Okay, there's Bolt Marrow. Plus 25% Herming. That's kind of what I expect it to be. Sharp Stress is there too. We'll take Bolt Marrow for now. It is just extra Herming as expected. Right. Just got to be very careful because I'm playing a risky game, staying at such a low HP right now. Okay. 20% accuracy plus 15% herming. That's really good, but inner, inner peace is what we want. Should be able to just level up insanely fast here. The lance is always nice as a secondary. I think I'll actually take that, to be honest. And we're just looking for good bolt weapons to... Make our day. I love that you can hold four charges with this character as well. That seems really nice. I haven't been to the sewers in a while. <laughs> it has been some time since I've been to the sewers. Ah, my god. Quickly just grab that and put that there. Good, good. Take out a few more rats before we go. Try and get the rad canister wherever that is as well. Okay, doesn't matter. We've already got it apparently. I didn't see it, but apparently we already got it. Pizza time. Um, forty-two percent damage is pretty lovely. I'm still gonna go flexible elbow though. That seemed really good before. There you go. Level up again, dude. I'm loving this. <laughs> Twenty-five percent more range. That's really nice. Twenty-five percent more range on that too. Um. 25% heal rate. 
this doesn't really help us that much. I guess I'll take Plutonium Hunger then. Remember for the tiny baby jellyfish every time. I see you tiny baby jellyfish. Beautiful. Bouncer Bazooka. Still never really understood why anyone would want that, but I also haven't actually tried it. It might be amazing. It sounds chaotic, but it might be really good. Okay, we got another inner peace charge. Definitely at the point now where we need a better bolt weapon. Trying to think what else would work with this build. What other mutations would go really well. At the minute, we're just looking for sharp stress, I think. But Inner Peace allows you to play around a lot more than you'd expect. With some different mutations that I don't normally get to use, like sharp stress. Cool. Level 7 already. And there it is, sharp stress. I can actually use it to deal damage as well, which is even better. I'm trying to make sure I accidentally kill myself, which I think, I feel like we all know is coming. It's actually really effective as a damage dealer. Ooh, I just lost all of my inner peace charges through that fire there. Bloodlust could be really, really good. 20% more speed, more resources on dodge, bigger dodge shield. That's really good, too. Um, your active also deals damage to all enemies on screen and steals some of their rads. Dude, that, that sounds interesting. Considering we're already doing damage with sharp stress, that seems like a wombo combo that could, that could get pretty nuts. I like the idea. I like the idea. And stealing some of their rads means even quicker leveling up. Not that we need much more leveling up, but still. I'm a little worried for the boss here, because our strategies don't really work, and we do not have the right we weaponry for this boss fight at all. Where'd you come from, you big fella? He's got a face full of the fucking... Oh, what, what, what gun was that? Magnetic crossbow. Um, directs when piercing. Oh my god, I like it. I like it. I need more inner peace charges before I start doing my uh, right click to win strategy. Start using my ability more often. Oh, dude, this thing's ammo consumption is a bit dirty, though. Flare shotgun. That sounds fun. I'll take that. Right, so... Let's kill you. That, I don't know. That seems pretty good. The damage with sharp stress there seems decent. The redirecting on this is great. But I do fear for my ammo account right now. Quadruple machine gun. Oh my lord. It's tier 11. I've got to take it. That with eagle eyes actually would be very, very nice. The eagle eyes herming is proving valuable too. Did I just kill myself by accident? I did. No way. I just killed myself by accident. But that was that was a good build. I can't believe I did that, though. I love being able to get this higher level this early on. I love the fact that he starts off at level 2 as well. I did it again! Okay, can, can we make it so that, I, so that I can't kill myself just to stop me being a moron, please? Shouldn't be necessary, but it is, because I am.
the throne boat. I don't know. The throne boat did like I was expecting more from it. I'll be honest. That is not a deal I want to take. Um, flexible elbows once again. But yeah, I think there's a there's a definite way to play this guy. That guy stole my ammo. It's a little a little sad that when you uh, kill them, you don't get that ammo back. Oh man. I'm messing this up somewhat royal, people. I'm messing this up somewhat royal. I do like playing at 1 HP, though, because it does train me to be a better player. Doesn't mean I will be, but it does It does put me in the mindset. Um... Do you see... Trains me to be a better player, you see. Just give me level three on the first area and I'll be happy. Um trap stress. Why don't I get an extra level up? I'm already level two. So maybe this isn't as good as I thought. Maybe this guy gets one less mutation. Is that how that's working? Because if so, that's kind of it's kind of sad. Like the way he cries when he fires at one HP. Is that because of sharp stress or is that just because it's funny? He's sad. Yeah, I start at level two, so why am I not getting an extra mutation? Is that like just because this character gets one less or what? Because if he starts with one less, that's not ideal. Oh my god, okay. I'm clearly not in the frame of mind right now to be playing this, so I'm gonna stop. But either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.